Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, please click subscribe and the little bell notification icon. If you're a return visitor or subscriber, hit that little bell notification icon so you'll know when we drop new videos. And thank you everyone for being here. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Now, uh, one question that I do get is, do I offer IT consulting? Yes, I do. Go to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will get with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. So... Now, what we're going to talk about today is backing up your Unify controller. Now, we've done um, a couple of videos on how to do it with Synology, but there's actually this service called Backify that is free, that does not keep your information, that will help you back up your controller to Dropbox, Amazon, an FTP server, Amazon, uh, Microsoft Azure, or Google Drive. So a couple of things that you're going to need. You're going to need a controller that's publicly accessible from the internet. So whether that's port forwarding or however you have that configuration done. You're going to need a Dropbox, an FTP, an Amazon, an Azure, or a Google account. And then you're going to need a Backify account. So you can sign up for Backify for free. Just go to Backify.com. You can sign up. You can log in with, I think you can log in with Google. Um, you might be able to log in with Facebook as well, but I always uh, just sign up with my email address. And so once you sign up with your email address, you are going to have this console. And this is where we are going to do all the heavy lifting. Now, the other thing to note is I am signed into my Dropbox already. So I'm going to use Dropbox for this. I'm signed into Dropbox. I don't normally use Dropbox, um, but... For this demonstration, I thought it'd be nice and easy because I have no uh, files in there. And then you can see here, even though this is localhost 8443, I have my firewall fi uh, forwarding the ports to this so we can get to that 8443. And this is uh, lab.willyhow.com. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hop over here to Backify. And you can see right here, we don't have any configurations. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to um, controllers. And before we get that far, I'm going to hop over here to my controller. I'm actually going to create an administrator who is specifically meant to do backups. So we're going to come in over here. And we're going to go to admins. And I'm going to add an admin. And I'm going to manually set this. And I'm going to call it backup. And I'm not going to make it change the password. Uh, oops. And I'll make it a super administrator. I'm not sure if, let's see. Only super admins have access to, to the backup facility of the controller. So the account does need to be a super admin. And you can see here all these notes that Backify has that they encrypt all the passwords, but they do suggest that we create this account. Make sure the password is set and not temporary. We have to use the fully uh, qualified um, URL. You can see this here, which is why I have my ports forwarded. And make sure the controller is accessible from the internet. So that is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna create this backup user. And now the backup user has been uh, created. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Backify. We're going to add a controller and we're going to call this, uh, this is the lab, but uh, we're going to call it that. And this is going to be HTTPS lab.willyhow.com 8443. I'm going to put our uh, backup user and password in and then we're going to click save. And it is, looks like it is testing here. Okay. So we will test the connection to the controller. It was creating the record. Now it's testing the record. We get the controller active. That's good. That means that it is able to touch the controller. So now what we need to do is we need to come down to storage and we need to add. And we are going to add Dropbox. And we've already got Dropbox open. It's pretty easy. If you've got Dropbox already open, that should make this super easy. So we're going to click Dropbox. Since we're already logged in, it's going to go over to our Dropbox and it's going to say Backify would like 
access to its own folder, apps, backify inside your Dropbox. And we're going to go ahead and say allow. So it's going to create an app and a shared place inside of Dropbox for backify. And it's also going to send a test file, which you see here on the screen now. It says the test was successful. So if we come over here, you can see we've got this apps folder. And if we go into apps and backify, you can see we have the test folder. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to schedules. Now this is where you get to decide how often you want this auto backup to run. So we're going to go ahead and add a schedule and we're going to call this uh, daily. Okay, we're not going to call it daily. We're going to call it we weekly. I forgot about that. Uh, weekly. And what we're going to do is we're going to call it, uh, we'll do it on Mondays and we'll do it at 12 a.m. So we could have multiple schedules weekly and then specify the date to get that into a daily backup. You could probably, uh, you can um, take this and repli let replicate it. So if you wanted an hourly backup, we could run it every day, Monday, 12, 1, 2, 3. And there's probably an easier way to do that than what I'm uh, seeing here. But... This is just a very simple setup. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now we have this schedule right here. So we'll come back up to this configuration. We'll add and we're going to select the controller, the weekly, Or did we not edit the name of our storage? All right, so we'll come back up here now. We'll add a goat, goat weekly, goat storage. And then um, we will go ahead and we'll save this real quick. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit email preferences, and we want an email when a backup fails, and we want an email when a backup is created. And then we also have this manual run option. So we're going to tell it to go ahead and run this backup. And it may take may take some time. Please check your storage location for the file in a couple of minutes. So I've set this up for a few people and it works flawlessly. If you use this, you may consider buying uh, this, the person uh, who made Backify a coffee. So it's really pretty simple. It's really pretty sweet that they created this tool um, to do this. Now, as, as always, with anything that is hosted out in the cloud, you have to decide whether or not you can trust this service and whether or not you want to use this service. So the clients that, that I've set it up for, they believe that they can trust the service. The service has been around for a couple of days and uh, they are pretty active on uh, Twitter. I was having a problem once and I DM'd them on Twitter and they came through lickety split uh, looking at my problem. So I'll leave a, a link to Backify down in the description. We'll look and see if there's been a backup file created yet. And there it is. So there is our uh, GOAT backup. And it was modified one minute, minute ago, and only I have um, access to that. It really is that easy. Like I said, you have to decide whether or not you can trust this service. You know what I don't know is if there is, doesn't look like there's a 2FA yet. Maybe they'll add a 2FA to this. Not 100% sure, but that would be pretty sweet. Now, uh, I, like I said, I haven't used the other login. Um, I haven't used the other login options with uh, Google. So I'm not 100% sure if you use the Google and it's got 
you know, your Google account has 2FA. I don't know if that flows through or not. If you've used that option, let us know, would you, down in the comments, whether that's a, a thing. So that'll do it. This, I mean, really, if you need a uh, backup for, for this, I mean, my goodness, how much easier does it get, really? Backify is great. Let's everybody buy this person that created this, a coffee, and uh, keep this going. We need you know, people that are creative in the community making tools like this. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form, and we'll, someone will contact you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you someone who can. Uh, if you're looking for some of the services that we do provide, if you go to willyhow.com, you'll see the support links up at the top. But that's uh, just a little sample of what we offer. So if you need more, make sure you contact us. Um, if you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, the link is down below. As always, all of the affiliate links are down below. Don't feel any pressure to use those. But if you do, it kicks a couple bucks to the channel bucks to the channel and doesn't change your price. So once again, I want to thank you all for being here. Make sure you back up your controllers. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.